communication in Buffalo District and, and St. Louis, uh, we had some opportunities to, to come down and do some work this time of year because our, our waterways start freezing up, so it, it frees us up a little bit. St. Louis with the, had some historic low water. Uh, the crews that were working down here were, were busy. They were, they were doing a ton of hours. Um, so it seemed like a good opportunity to come down and uh, learn what they do down here from them and then we can kind of fill in and, and uh, free those guys up a little bit. Uh, when we got down here they were working crazy hours. They started off first thing in the morning sometimes they're on the boat process until 10, 11 o'clock at night. So um, they had their hands full down here. They're, they were non-stop working. Uh, probably one of the biggest things would be the irregular bottoms down here and the rock pinnacles that they're looking for in the river. You gotta be very careful. I mean, you can't just you can't just buy this stuff and replace it. You know, you gotta take care of the equipment, and especially in the shallow waters and obstructions in the water. You don't want to go run aground because uh, you could easily damage the equipment. It was actually interesting to see how much the river rose. It was like someone flushed a forest down here. So not only were we trying to survey, but you're also dodging literally trees pulling down the river. A uh, pretty big metal drum, size of a size of a Volkswagen came bobbing through, so you, you really have to be on your toes for all that stuff. But as far as uh, uh, safety-wise, I don't think we had any close calls. We just, uh, you know, just had our heads up and uh, we're paying attention for the most part. And everything was good. We have uh, most of the computer set up. We're gonna drop our uh, beam head in the moon pool. You can see the bottom underneath the boat. What you have is uh, 256 beams coming down and hitting the bottom. And, I don't know if you can see on the sun with that stream there, but you can see all the different rays coming down and getting a return off the bottom. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the sound velocity file so it knows the speed of the sound in the water column. And I'll apply that to that to get a, to get a better uh, value. That's what he just uh, put out back. It's got the time and then it has uh, the speed of sound and then where it is in the water column by depth. And back on my main screen here, I can bring it into my processing. It's really nice to, to come down and do a, a project that you know is, is pretty vital to uh, the well-being of what's going on in the country. We came down and hopefully, uh, hopefully we helped them out a little bit. Uh, great group of guys down here, we, we learned a ton from them uh, just working alongside them.